Okay, everybody, we're gonna we're back with Ukebox number twelve. We're gonna talk about the song "Rainbow Connection" and play it on our tenor ukulele tuned G C E A with a low G, not like this. Low G. In the key of C, which we've been playing in a lot through these uke boxes. And now I'm going to get started on Rainbow Connection with a chord chart. Let's see if we can do something about this chord chart. All right, here we are in the key of C. The Rainbow Connection is a challenging song because the way the melody bends back and forth, it goes through different modes. And sometimes it's just hard to sing. One of the hardest uh, things to do about it is just learn the chords. So the chords are, um, at least for me, left to right, C, which is just the uh, first string on the bottom third fret, uh, A minor, which is the fourth string along the top second fret, D minor, it's uh, the third and fourth strings second fret, uh, second string, first fret. There we go. And then G, which is like this. Third string, second fret. Second string, third fret. First string, second fret. And as we've mentioned in the past, that in these songs where the G chord is the five chord, remember we talked about Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, that so, that fifth note of the scale of the key of C is G, then G7 works just as well. So G7 is the G, but you pick up your ring finger and with a little refiguring, you put that second string on, um, you fret it at the first fret. Okay, then there's F, which is uh, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. Okay, and here's a here's a tough one. They want you to play E flat major seven, which is uh, the third fret, barring um, four all four strings or just the bottom three. But if you did all four strings and then put a pinky or a ring finger on the first string, fifth fret. And uh, I've as I've been playing this chord through this song, I've been finding that. Almost, uh, maybe a B minor works better in that particular. So B minor is fretting the um, second fret, all four strings, and then the fourth string adding a finger on the fourth fret. Now they don't sound the same to me, but sometimes chord charts come up a little funky. Okay, E minor, which is uh, first string, second fret, uh, second string, third fret, uh, third string, fourth fret. But uh, a lot of times people will add the ring finger above the, uh, on the fourth string, add the fourth fret, fourth string. So you're fretting all of the strings at once rather than just the bottom three. It doesn't make a difference, but if you're strumming quickly, you might want the ability to halt the sound. Instead of playing that, you want, want to play and be able to stop it by lifting all these fingers at once. Okay, E minor. A or A7 uh, would be third string, first fret, fourth string, second fret. That's a full A. If you take off the fourth string and just have the third string, first fret, there's A7, but let's play a full A for this song. And then they also ask us at some point to play A major seven. So third string, first fret, fourth string, first fret. Okay, I haven't seen that one come up yet. That's kind of an oddball. Let's go right to the song and just play through it. How about starting here? So I'm going to turn this so I'm still visible. Hopefully I can uh, play the chords so you can see them if you want to. Okay. This is kind of disconcerting as the everything's very small on the screen. I hope it's not too small for you. Here we go. 
Uh, the first note of this song, we're playing in the key of C, it starts on the third of the scale, which C would be the first, D would be the second, E would be the third, but I wouldn't want this one, I'd probably want this one. some flubs here partly because I'm half blind and it's very hard to see the chords let's start from the top C but we're starting on the note E which is the second string played open here we go why are so many songs about rainbows and what's on The melody is a little bit vague, but we stay on the F. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. And now it's telling me to play E flat ma uh, major 7, which would be something like this. But I think maybe B minor might be better. So if we were to play that first line of the bridge, so we've been told and some choose to believe it, go to B minor. But I know they're wrong, wait and see. Now we go back to a more familiar chord, D minor. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the love Except for that B minor that I chose to substitute, it sounds like it's we're pretty accurate on the chords. Okay, so that's the first part of the song. Let's turn that off and go to the second part. Oops, I want the chords off too. Let's try that. Okay, are we on the second part? Yes. Now, uh, the composer said that he wrote this song in what he called Kermit speak. He wrote it for the character of Kermit the Frog in the Muppet movie. And so uh, he, he wanted the the first lines of the song to go da 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 So we're going to try and sing it that way. Who, who said that every wish would be heard and answered when wished flat major seven nonsense. What do we think we might see? Now we're back to more familiar chords. Let me just make sure that we can see them. D minor. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lover. The dreamer. getting a handle now. That's basically identical to the first part. Let's turn off those lyrics. Turn off those first lyrics. Okay, here's the last part. Maybe less familiar lyrics, but it's still something we want to try and get through. Here we go. Have you been half asleep 
And have you heard voices? I heard them calling my name. Are these the sweet sounds that call the young sailors? I think they're one and the same. Now we're to that more vague bridge part where it goes, I've heard it too many times to ignore it. Now go to B minor instead of E flat major. There's something that I'm supposed to be. Now the familiar wrap up D minor. Someday I'll find it. E minor, rainbow eight connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. La, da, 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 da. So if you want to put an ending like that la, da, 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 da stuff, I'm playing. Uh, the last line is the lovers, the G, G, and C, then E minor, E minor, and A minor. Now D minor, D minor, G, and C. So there's lots of places to get these uh, lyrics and chords. Hopefully you can uh, either use this or use another website. Uh, to get those and keep practicing. The challenge is finding that first note. So remember, it's the second string wide open. Do, why are there so many? So it starts on the E. Let's back out of uh, the uh, rainbow connection and talk about uh, my one of my favorite ukulele players, Troy Fernandez. He's very famous for being a part of a group called the Ka'au Crater Boys. Uh, and that was him and um, uh, Ernie Cruz Jr. And they just did a terrific uh, duet of guitar and ukulele. And uh, Troy Fernandez can tear it up on the ukulele, playing very energetically in the Hawaiian style, uh, but also kind of a jazzy style, sometimes emulating uh, rock guitar. So give Troy Fernandez a look. He's got solo albums. He's got three or four albums with... Ka'au Crater Boys, and um, they did some wonderful stuff that most uh, Hawaiian people love nowadays. So that's it. Practice uh, Rainbow Connection in the key of C. Um, remember that wherever it says E flat major 7, you might want to add just a B minor, which is a bar on the second and on the fourth string, the fourth fret. But other than that, thanks for uh, hanging out for episode number 12 of Ukebox. And we'll pick some more songs to do next time and try this again. Mahalo.